Guys, that's not good. Okay, well, I guess we got 500 of these anyway. I'm in danger. Oh, well. <laughs> um, and how much am I swinging in for? Whenever you start with five more soldiers, which one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Creatures get pushed from game flying. So that would be three, five, seven, seven, ten, seven, twelve, thirteen, plus whatever else. So no bookers. Should be lethal. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just, just doing the math. Oh my god. Shout out to Harbin. Cheating out a win there. Harbin time. Yeah. What's up and welcome everyone to new Lost Caverns of Ixalan standard video. So today I felt like playing a top tier standard deck that I used to love but for some reason almost sees no play anymore and I wanted to see if I could figure out why that's the case. Now of course I'm talking about Azorius Soldiers. And I don't know about you guys but I went from seeing this deck nearly every other game to just going multiple days without anyone playing soldiers against me and I play like 6 hours a day. So what happened? The deck even got a fantastic upgrade in the form of Cavern of Souls with Ixalan, yet the play rate of the deck has gone down a lot on both MTG Arena and MTGO. Now for the people unaware, this is a warrior soldier deck almost plays like a tempo deck that plays a lot of cards on your opponent's turn because it has a lot of creatures with Flash like Resolute Reinforcement and Zephyr Sentinel the deck also has access to four copies of Make the Spear. Now personally, I think there's one card to blame for the soldiers falling out of favor, and that is the ever-growing presence of the Deep Cavern Bat in the meta that just reveals your whole hand and takes away a lot of power of a tempo strategy that way. Rather than your opponent having to play around potential counters or other threats when you have mana open on their turn, they just know what's in your hand thanks to that bet. And I think it takes away a lot of power from a tempo deck that finds a lot of strength in keeping your opponent guessing. So I played about 15 games in this deck and held a nice 80% win rate in the top 100 mythic and the deck still feels very strong to me. Now let me know in the comments why you think the Azorius Soldier deck has fallen out of popularity and whether or not you agree with my take on the deck still being a great choice in the current meta. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Now sit back and relax and enjoy some Blue White Soldier action. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards, ranging from sleeves, deck boxes, playmats, binders, and more. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. Support the channel and yourself by purchasing your Ultimate Guard products using the link in the description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, those are ready to get shipped. Those are ready to get shipped still. <laughs> those I still have to like work on and get some like good sleeves for and shit. But currently, like I'm, uh, I'm not at home, so I will be in like a couple days again. Mom did. She she did too well. Yeah, she did too good. She did too good. What was that? They hit my make spear. Ooh. Okay, I'm here back to you. Nazi's bug. First class everything. That's true. Like, she did it to him. We have the uh, Erectal's mid range here. I'm gonna slam my wedding. It's going to be an interesting matchup. Hope they don't have another. Pretty sure not the end of the world, I guess. Ooh, yeah, I'll take two Tishanas. We're gonna brew today at all. It eh, planning on. Yeah, planning on. Planning on. Ooh, hater. No books. Alright, let me swing. We have uh, Tishana, the shutdown preacher. I'm allowed to play meta. That's true. Like, it's true. Play, enjoying a little bit of soldiers here. Good vibes. Deep Gavern Bat. I don't enjoy you very much. You're not going to have a look at my hand. I don't think so. I don't think so. Pfft. <laughs> 
What a... Alright, well... Uh... This is still counter, though. Trigger is still countered. Go ahead and swing, chief. Aha! See, like, I could bounce it, but I won't. It's still countered. I'd rather bounce the resolute reinforcements with the bat all over again. And it was good enough because it makes him concede. So you made the right play. I'd love to see it back. The spectacle was just cool. Obviously, also like our absolute legend spawn of mayhem. What I would give for a reprint. What I would give. The lengths that I would go to. Like this card is like, imagine. Spawn of like mayhem in a in a Gix meta. Flying trample. It's what we deserve. It really is. Three mana four for fire that grows. Like I yeah, exactly. Exactly. Is want the triumphs to rotate September, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. September. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Probably just the waste. Sunfall for well. So Sunfall, no for well, yes, I think. Sunfall was from uh, EMU, wasn't it? Sun stays falling. Wow, okay, at least all those lands are gone. M20, like M20 gang, like I loved M20. Oh, <gasps> oh, that's gonna be bad. Oh, okay. Shit. Ouch. I realized we were in fucking trouble the second that happened, I fear. Big yikes. I'd bind Liana, I guess. <laughs> yeah, ended our brotherhood. Yeah, our brotherhood for sure has ended. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh well. They got three lands though, so. It do be a it do be a little devastating. Okay, we're just gonna bounce that to Shana back. I mean, I could do it again. <laughs> Want me to do it again? Uh, sure. That means they're definitely gonna plus Lily, but that's okay, I guess. Keep bouncing. But Liliana pluses their last card away too, so like I'm not even mad at that. You really get rid of a Gix? Whoa. That wild. They got rid of a Gix command. Huh? I don't know if that was worth it, but yeah. Up you, Chief. Yeah, they have some blood token discards. Mm, that's premium. Alright. This is... They can technically animate restless events, so I won't do anything there. I'm just gonna play Wedding. They discarded Gix Command. Yeah, they fucking did. Like, it would have wiped my whole board. Like, yeah. <laughs> Our... You do you, Chief, but like, that's crazy. Oh, uh... That's not good. Hmm. 
They're gonna just find a board wipe, aren't they? Probably. Shit. They do lose three life here, though. Yeah, we got Mirax. That could help. Got Mirax. They, 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 cruelty of gigs for a land. Oh, shit. They actually just go for, like, the random discover? Bessie, I hope that works out for you, because... What the fuck? Okay. Hmm. I'd be- I would- I would stop being greedy right now, and I'd grab another Carnosaur. <laughs> I would stop being greedy. That's it for me, like... Yeah, okay, they are. Smart, smart move. Oh shit, rewarded. That was a play. Jesus. Kill shoulder it, not before they get the cruelty of Geek's trigger, no. Good. Now they get like a shitty harvester. Normally they're gonna get chili back if I time that wrong. See, that's how you see things that correctly. And now you win the game. Exactly. Basically. I don't know. I don't know. We move on. We move on. Let's play some straight up soldiers. And also, let's go into our uh, Zeros playlist for some good bops. This is the Mentor deck. I'll stop the mill. No, it's not Esper. It's just like a blue-white one. Blue-white version. Let's put that on... Um, human, probably? There you go. Uh, yeah, one or two is, like, the max. Unless they play, like, something completely different, but, like... I was considering putting these archaeologists in the deck at some point, but... Changed my mind. Hmm... See what I can find. I know it does, it does not. No, it is not. I don't have archaeologists, I fear. No. 
I play a Piccolo Prankster. I play Prankster. Okay, this is bad news. Yo, David, thank you for the gifty. You know, I think I really aggressively uh, need to look for a Kishana Tide Binder with. Can I even? Okay, Zephyr Sentinel does bounce Tide Binder. So that's good. So we gotta stop this thing before it gets out of hand. There you go. Tie binder is just pretty sweet. Like that. We love it. Ooh. Well, that's brave. Okay, well, I gotta let it happen because I'm grabbing Tide Binder, but yeah. That's brave. Mm. Currently negative nine degrees here. Stream is the only thing keeping me from despair about the fucking Tundra. <laughs> oh shit, like that's crazy. Those are insane temperatures. The men just token serving for you. Yeah. It's true. Oh, they are actually Esper version. Interesting. Like, I'll chump that. So they go through. We're gonna then grab. Tide Binder back. And then we just gotta wait on the men to trigger, and then we are okay. Going in. Moonark. Just probably do this. Probably see if I can do this. Because we're just going to get over them with flyers, probably. New wedding. Our... I'm not mad at it. Okay. Here we go. We'll see universes beyond. <laughs> well, if they want to make money, yeah, that's one way to do it, but nah, probably not actually. Is that a new one? So what would I grab? Get lost. But they don't have black, so I don't know. I guess they could just do X. Wait, did it actually counter? Last card counter? For real? Perfect. Or are just gonna go for the triggers now? Yeah. It's fine. Jesus. Keep it going, boys! Be going. Uh, shut that one down. Oh my God, this is like this is gonna be like trigger like warfare. Unreal. Trigger warfare. She is not that moment. She is not. Oh my god. Bruh. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... Did 
don't know, man. Jump one of these guys. Now that's a card on top. They still get the triggers. That's the worst part. Mm. I can fire this off. Draw the card. I don't, it doesn't really matter. Like <laughs> This is such a bad matchup. This is horrible. Is the prowess stuff? Oh man, man, man. It's just bad. Yeah. Spell pierce, ain't no way. Nah, we're so dead. I have to put this on Merfolk. <laughs> Probably. Wizard. I really do think that opponent's deck's very good, though. I do think their deck's pretty good. Officer. I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. So what happens? Your helping hand gets back Haughty Jin. That's not good. Um, at least Knight Aaron of Eos gonna attack into that, so that's good. Really looking for our lantern flares and get lost or rear fox pretty guard. Okay. We just, we just gotta keep it going, guys. We just gotta keep it going. All right. Harbin to be a, yeah. Harbin needs to be a bestie. For sure. Or like is that just lantern flare would be nice as well. Enter. I mean I guess you take it. Alright, keep your secrets, Chief. We're just kind of like running them over, and I fortunately am still able to stop Monastery Mentor. But they could just like also work on top of Tidebinder, which would suck. We'll see how that uh, how that plays out. Like if they fire off another like spell now, they could get another token. But we'll see if they do. Okay, trigger countered. They do still get prowess. We'll see, guys. Maybe we can get out of this one.
Okay. I'll give it back. It's still like stopped for a turn though. So they don't get anything from that. Fateful mending. Kicked. Uh, no. What's this? I was about to say like hello, do I not just dwindle the way back? <laughs> what what says that from? <laughs> the fuck? What says that from? Broker's ascendancy. Well, Chad picks a new brew. You guys can choose Broker's Ascendancy again. Or Riders of the Mark. Oh, Lord of the Rings? Oh, no, no, no. I haven't really brewed much of Lord of the Rings cards, I fear. I haven't really brewed much with that. Probably gonna be uh, a Resolute Reinforcements room. Someone donate 30 subs quick. <laughs> Broker's Ascendancy. Resolute. Ooh, so that's Rear Fox Bodyguard. I actually like that better here, I think. Use, uses my mana better, you know? Uses my mana a lot better. <laughs> the Soldier Toke is actually quite interesting. They kind of look like uh, Vikings almost. Well, you're gonna have to find and get lost, I fear. Draw two life. Need to life, draw two cards, discard two cards. Okay. Soldiers are baddies. Yeah, Amalia or uh, Amalia. Aurelia's army. Very soon. Soldier, soldier. Alright, I need to get some more soldiers going here. Then we can win this game with Harbin, perhaps. Ooh, holding up Lantern Flare, maybe? Destroy Evil? No use in Harbin yet. I only have two soldiers. I feel like there's not enough soldiers in this soldier deck. I said that last time I played it too. I feel like there's not enough soldiers. <laughs> My soldier deck's lacking soldiers. Why is that? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would guess. Damn. I don't have shit. Just a bunch of one ones. No lands, no bitches. Fucking hell, what am I supposed to do with that? Okay. Nope. Hmm. You guys soldiers? <laughs> soldier check? Soldier check? Anywhere? Not really. Might just have to like cleanse our palette playing uh... Playing cookies, huh? Palette cleanser with cookies. Ishana, shut it down. Clean. I'll take three. At least we're gaining a lot of life. We have that going for us. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, that's like the number one requirement to like successfully play Mentor is being obsessed with Mentor, yeah. You, you gotta be obsessed with him. He's gone, gotta get back on the board quickly. Else you're gonna suffer. It's, give, it's giving Anvil. Okay. Went up just to Shauna that. Haha. Uh Haha. -huh. Uh -huh. you, you thought you could get lost this. You thought. Uh. I guess I'll take it. You probably want it in the graveyard. Ooh, you have a soldier. That's great. Good news, you guys. That's good news. Here. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, shit. Uh, one soldier. Yeah, one, two, three. This would be four. So they were okay with losing the mentor. So I think they have another like reanimator moment here. So if I get lost, the forager, they're just gonna bring it back and do it again. That's not good. Um. I would like to attack with this board, but it's also like, you know, I don't want to give them the Halo Forge to reanimate. Then again, if that's like the, the hoops they got to jump through, it's not the end of the world, especially not my life total. I might just get Lost Forger here. Try. Could be counter two, though. Okay. Sure. So I don't do anything, though. got pierced yeah okay we gotta get lost for that <laughs> we gotta get lost oh fucking hell wait i actually didn't see they had another mentor in there yeah this is always the number one mystery which Deshana has shut down which thing they never fixed that on Arena, did they? I think it's the, the second Tishana has shut down the Halo Forager, but you don't know. That sucks. Like, that really is like a problem. <laughs> I think it's this one. Take a guess, yeah, seriously. Uh, did I do it right? No, fuck! <laughs> no, wait. I didn't. <sighs> like, be real. Damn it. Did I? No. Anyway. Shout out. Shout out to MG Arena. We love it. Damn. Either way. God, we could absolutely get like fucking hit now. <sighs> Fuck, guys, that's not good. Okay, well, I guess we got 500 of these anyway, so it doesn't really matter. How much am I swinging in for? Whenever you start with five more soldiers, which one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Uh, creatures get plus one for game flying. So that would be uh, three, four, five, uh, three, five, seven. 
7, 10, 11, 12, 13, plus whatever else. So no bookers. Should be basal. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just doing the math. Oh my god. Shout out to Harbin. Cheating out a win there. Harbin time. Yeah. Domain is kind of like the tier 2 punisher, and there's like a, a wide variety of tier 1 decks. But the second you play like tier 2, you do get punished, punished by Domain, yeah. Yeah, they really should not have thrown Cavern in standard. I, I agree with that. Like, it just makes Atraxa so much more a pain in the ass, truly. I, uh, I have to agree there. It was a bit unnecessary. Maybe give us something that attracts I couldn't have used, you know? That could have been nice. Alright, this is the uh, mentor deck. Yeah, we got Tidebinder, I guess. We got her, our, our, our absolute queen. Okay. Um, this is 24 land deck. We hit some lands. No, I think blue is an interesting color in magic. I really do think so. Alright, this is a Chromo Sea Chart. Did they play that in the Mentor deck? I didn't know. Ah, that is. Oof, ooh, that's unfortunate. Uh, hmm. Book. That's real unfortunate. Alright, I think I'm supposed to take a risk here then. Oh no. Yeah, I know. Oh, fuck, I forgot to tap the mana. Okay, well, dumb. I was gonna play Wedding, obviously, but, uh, oops. Sabotaged. It's fine, though. This might be better. Now I'm traumatized. I'm just gonna hold this up. I was obviously gonna... I just clicked too fast. Either way. Um, this is Control, actually. This makes sense. They're 88%. It's like, what is this? Yeah, it's not, math is not adding up, Chief. No, it's true. Like, it's true. That's not, like, necessarily shade. It's just facts. Okay. It's not shade. It's just, like... Control is just not good in the current meta, so then... Venture wouldn't be at 88%. I think Venture is such a strong deck. I love it. That Venture deck scratches my brain. Just right. I mean, that's a big boy. that uh okay well shit uh what uh yeah because yeah thanks for paying i don't know okay right well if i can find some lands it should be an easy game but you tell me temporary look down Okay. Go crazy, go stupid. I mean, I'm just hoping to find a land. Actually, I'm thinking for 13. I'm kind of just nothing without lands. No. 
really just nothing about lands. Thank you for the 13, Bessie. Lucky number 13. We appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, the, the main is just kind of like an earth disturber. <laughs> Disturbs the peace on the earth, you know? Um, this game is most likely just over. Hmm. Thank you. I'll have a look at that. I had another person in the UK that shoved all like the RCQs in my, um... Uh... My, my channel, but... Wait, what's happening here? Yeah, that, that shoved, like, all, all the RCQs in there, but, like, that was just one that I could attend, but thank you. I'll have a look. Yeah, I have that exact screenshot. Thank you. I just have no lands. <laughs> it's like... <sighs> Alright, dude. I have a really... If you like Chromeho Sea Shark, I have the perfect deck for you that goes absolutely nuts. Like, I, I, my Chromeho Sea Shark deck plays uh, Zoetic Glyphs, and it's just insane. But that's all over the UK, though. Like, are you like actually traveling, traveling to like the entirety of the UK? Like, <laughs> I guess I can't. <laughs> I can't. Within three hours. Yeah, that's not too bad, but. I don't have a car in the UK, so it kind of like complicate things. I don't know. I think my one way out of this is maybe like hitting these maps. I'm not sure though. Okay, and then of course you don't. Silly. Silly, silly, goofy, goofy, silly. Alright, I'll swing with the team, I guess. Here's the hag. We can shut her down with Tide Binder. Potentially. Then they still have an animate. It's kind of over. Yeah, we needed some lands earlier, and then maybe we could get out of it. Maybe finding our caverns could help a lot too. <laughs> no! I asked for lands. That is true, but not like that. Not like that. All right, a recruitment officer and a dream. The one off hack, just to put the fear into your opponent, you know? I do like that. A little bit of spice. It's nice. Alright. This is looking, uh, this is looking alright now. I'll probably still put it on soldier, since that's our deck, you know? I'm just gonna put that recruitment officer back in my hand and create a 3 2 here. It's just a little bit more power. Okay, like I'm gonna say doubt on them having this. De Actually, I would love to say doubt on them having depopulate, but to be fair, these gamers are very unpredictable. Okay. 
Ghostbusters for me, it's like non soul for GTA. <laughs> That's a vibe right there. All right. No, I don't think so. Uh, it's probably just this first here, huh? And then hold up two mana. Go bees. Sorcery speed, Deluge, you're allowed. Counter the threats, not the draws. Yup, yup. Swinging. Alright, y'all, we have a turn to survive. Let's see. Yeah, I guess it depends. Okay, I'll do anything. Isn't like the werewolf Rear bodyguard? Oh, that's a knight. Oh, I thought it was a soldier. Oh. <laughs> My bad. This is a good hand. This is a, this is a banger. Where do we have a uh, vibe on? Here we go. Yeah, Ryan, in the sense that, you know, <laughs> yeah. You ever see Soldier on the Ladder where people bring it to events all the time? It's true. Thank you. I like the same size bull. She got a horse, though. She's a horse girl. A little crazy like that. All right, I'm trying to flesh in Resolute Reinforcement. That is perfectly fine. Because I'm going to put a wedding in play then. Horse girl's kind of crazy. <laughs> she got that going for her. Chrome Ho Sea Shark. Ooh, that's getting scary. Fortunately, I have Destroy Eagle. Thank you. Yeah, she got that crazy horse girl energy for sure. All right, fast turn. Can't believe that they just threw away a tide binder like that. I mean, they thought maybe that I would have gone out of my removal, but I don't. Sleight of hand. Okay. Big horse teeth. <laughs> Wait, what? The fuck? We're in hag territory. Okay. Left the Shana and Sentinel right now, so I'm not gonna pull the map token. The VIP wall. Not as true, they're y'all flexing on everybody. Well earned. Also, have you guys like started receiving your Christmas cards yet? I think a lot of people should. Let's have like, let's counter the sunfall, and then uh, we have three power on the board. Let's make that six, and let's have a look if we can score our way to victory. Okay, it was all like with like priority and stuff, which is kind of like. I, I had so much work that- wow, I get one rank for that. Wow, love it. I had so much work that day and I asked my mom if she could handle it and I think she brought like fucking priority like first class shipping for everything. It's like, oh. Like it just makes me want to give up on competitive magic. Like competitive magic nowadays is mostly just paper and like... You know, a legacy European is just... Yeah, Italy guts everything, but uh... I, I, there's one in Belgium as far as I'm aware. 
I've seen like three in Germany, but that's still like a six, seven hour drive. So, yeah. <laughs> and the worst thing is like there's one in the Netherlands, but then like I was talking about this with somebody. If you go to that one RCQ in the Netherlands, you're going to be playing in like a hundred player event with one seat with every spike in the Netherlands, you know what I mean? Whereas like in America, you guys can go to like 14 player RCQs and they give away two seats. Like <laughs> in the Net in Europe, it's like, you gotta go to a hundred player RCQ for one seat. It's like so much money to like try and travel to one. Like it's just crazy. It's, it's really like a, a miserable experience to try and do anything in Europe. And like, I would love to like go back to competitive magic but it's like it's just it's just impossible over here it's just impossible very discouraging like the one time where like everything is digital and I can actually like run out a lot of like you know tournaments I qualify for the pro tour Shout out to COVID, you were good to me. But it's just like, it's just so like unrealistic for me. No, the UK, no, the UK is like three hours of travel and like 300 euros. So like imagine doing that for an RCQ and then you're not there yet. Then you're not there yet. Then you have to go all the way to like London and, or like find a hotel to stay at. Like, all of it for an RCQ, mind you. <laughs> like, be real. Be real. I'd be spending more going to RCQs than I could ever potentially win playing in the Pro Tour. Like, um... <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of a nightmare. It's a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, wizard. Like, that's traveling to the UK, getting a hotel to stay at. Yeah, you're spending about, like, $500 to earn, like, 50 <laughs> It's like... Like, do the math. It, it's like, to me, it doesn't add up, I fear. To me, it doesn't add up. All right. It just sucks, like, just makes you want to give up on competitive magic, you know? Yeah, completely spiking the shit out of a tournament. Absolutely worth spending $500 for. <laughs> Here we go. This is all the events from, from now till February 11. God, like, even this website is, like, kind of janky. Uh, nah, friends seems to have nothing. <laughs> uh... There's two in Belgium, none in the Netherlands, uh, one in Germany. <laughs> like, go ahead and travel, I guess. A couple in Italy, but um, yeah, no, no in the U none in the UK. So yeah, looking good, y'all. Looking good. I can def qualify for this RCQ. G good shit. Um. <laughs> Good shit. Well, give me the correct numbers then. I would love to see it. <laughs> like, go ahead. I I'd love to. That's this. That's like the official legacy page. You also have like the wizards event thingy. Like, none of them have information. So where else am I supposed to look? I'm just looking at the official the official like resources there are. Where else can you go? <laughs> Ask around the people if they have RCQs. I fortunately don't have those connections, so it's gonna make things a bit tricky. All I get is like the Wizards event locator and legacy website. That shows nothing, so. Well, how about the store owners put it on like official resources rather than Facebook groups? Maybe. <laughs> Crazy suggestion, but, you know. So that other people can find events as well. <laughs> like, 
seems seems nuts, but two went at 100 miles an hour. Both are sealed. What's that? Sealed murders, I imagine. The gatekeeping starts at the store. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> but. Uh, I mean, I could counter... No, I can't, actually. Both in February? Yeah. Yeah, I, I wish I could get into competitive magic more, but it's like... Rip. And Warfare. Either way, let's just focus on arena. We we can get we can stay top fifty on the ladder, am I right? Okay, that's a bunch of lands. At least those are gone. We move. Like you have no choice but to move, you know? <laughs> Even though it is slightly depressing. But uh yeah. Oh, Kaito does a little bit of blink. Get an arena event where you have to go 14 and 1. <laughs> Yippee! Like, our alternatives are great, y'all. Good shit. Um, this will pass the turn. They know I haven't made the spear. I got just one, I fear. Got one blue source and a Mirax. Um, I can activate Mirax. I won't, though. I'm gonna send two here and the rest of this phase. So let's have a look what happens. Should at least guarantee like Kaito's removal. Evelyn! Perfect. That feels like bait though. Hmm. But okay. Taste. Nah, they have taste. They're playing like Vampire Pile. We do love to see it. We do love to see it. This could be a board fight, maybe? <laughs> There's only like, last thing I'll say about like the RTQ stuff, because like the LGS is where I do go to in like the Netherlands and stuff. They all want to host RCQs, but they can't because le communication with like legacy is just so bad. <laughs> this is like another like thing that really holds LGS's back. They want to set one up, but they can't. It's a shame. Evelyn flashes Loki, one of your best friends. <laughs> Evelyn flashes a nightmare. Good memories though. Kaito again. Dancing Shadow, not even a good one. Dance, attack or block until your next turn. All right. Something better with this guy then. So this Shana can shut down Kaito. Yes, yeah, the turn. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 
I'm just holding this. Okay, well, I'm not believing that you're going to wipe my board anymore, so I'm just going to Odawara, or Tidebind the Odawara. I don't really know how opponents play in this deck, but... Either they are five head and they, like, successfully baited, or... I don't know. Virus Beetle. <laughs> what? All right, sure. The fuck? Virus Beetle. The fuck? The hell? Okay, they just give up. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Soldiers, get in there, slowly but surely. 